Sanika, this is Sue for PMTV. The presence of intercultural relationships and marriages are ever so clear and expanding in societies throughout the globe. Pattaya is no exception. With being a tourist resort, it is a melting pot as well as a hot spot for love. Many people come here and fall in love not just with the country but also with the people. And for some, when love ripens, the inevitable follows marriage. If we believe that every marriage requires commitment, dedication and work, intercultural marriage requires even more attention because of the many other additional details that come with the package. The challenges include language barrier, personal values, family, friends, expectations, economic adjustments, political issues and bureaucratic procedure. Wow! And yes, we know that the key to a successful intercultural marriage is to develop understanding and patience, which, by the way, applies to any marriage. But it's easier said than done. That's why today we are visiting a very lovely international couple who just celebrated their fourth wedding anniversary. Ratanasi Vechapan is from Thailand and her husband, Jean-Marie Aubry, from France, a retired businessman who will tell us what it takes for a couple from different backgrounds and different cultures to make it work. Ratana Otana and Jean Marie. Swadika. Swadika. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, Sue. All right, Tana, let's get to the heart of the matter. How did you meet Jean Marie? I met him in my office in a real estate company in Teprasit Road. Yeah. He was one of the cus uh, very, more, uh, I say, very <laughs> difficult customers I ever had. Yeah. And? And we became friends. Uh, first on business basis, uh, but then we became friends and we met each other more often. What language do you use to communicate with each other? German. How did you learn to speak German so well? Mm. I studied German in Germany, in in Heidelberg, uh, at the International Student Centrum. And then I studied um, medical assistance in Kassel, and then, because I worked for 10 years, and that's why my German is good, yeah. Mm -hmm. No wonder. Now, how did your family respond to your decision to marry a foreigner? Well, at first, I think my family never say anything against me anyway, because I think they trust my decision. And we respect, we respect each other's opinion, yeah. What about other Thai um, families? Are they the same? That I don't know. But for me, I think my family, they, they, they ad ad respect my opinion, mm -hmm. just that. Mm -hmm. What kind of adjustments have you made to each other's culture? What kind of adjustments? I, for me, no, I don't need to adjust anything. Just natural. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Then how, uh, what are some of your, s your partner's culture have you adopted as your own? Mm. Maybe the tidiness. Uh, European people, they are quite tidy at home, I would say. For example, a housewife, they polish the water taps. Can you imagine that? And, and so I think polishing water taps, which I, I never thought that one would polish water taps, but I think it's a good idea, so I did it. I do it also nowadays. And then being straightforward. Yes, it's yes, no, it's no. Okay, and um, a lot of things. But this is not, not normal for Thais, right? Because they consider impolite sometimes to be too straightforward. How do you handle that? I can handle it polite way, you know? Okay. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> yeah. What about eating habits? Oh, I like eating cheese too. At first, it, it's a bit smelly, you know, but if you try it, you will like it. And cold weather for me, oh, there is no problem. You 
can learn skiing and you will like skiing too. Yeah. Mm-hmm.